Hey besties, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited this week I have a week of workouts for y'all. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Crystal and I'm on a journey to lose 50 pounds before the summertime so I could be summertime fine, okay? If you want to follow along with, on my journey, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. So y'all, for the first day of workouts this week, it was a conditioning day and we started with these very awkward but very helpful front facing wall squats and basically what these squats do is really work on your mobility and your hip flexors then I turned around and just did 10 body weight squats after that you want to grab a resistance band to do some rotator cuff openers for these rotator cuff openers, if you're having a hard time making it to your back, you want to move your hands further apart on the resistance band. That's going to give you a greater range of motion. After our warm up, we're going to grab a medium to difficult weight and do 15 dumbbell squat press. You want to really focus on using your hips to drive that weight up. Once you're done with these, you want to move into 30 seconds on the skier. Now, I know most gyms don't have a skier, so you can use any cardio equipment that you have at your gym. And you want to hit it for 30 seconds, going as hard as possible, y'all. You want to do three sets of this, and trust me, you are going to feel it. For our second group of workouts, we're going to do kettlebell deadlifts. My awesome trainer, Alexa, came over to give me some tips on form. She wanted me to make sure I was really reaching between my legs for the kettlebell. Also, if you don't already, make sure that you follow Alexa on IG. She posts my workouts daily. And make sure you leave her some purple hearts in her comments so she knows that I sent y'all. Then, after we did these kettlebell deadlifts, we moved on to our rower for 30 seconds. Again, if you don't have a rower in your gym, just find a piece of cardio equipment and go ham for 30 seconds. We're going to do three sets of these. And for our last workout, y'all, I did 15 goblet squats, followed by 30 seconds on the bike. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. I don't know what happened in this last little group of workout of exercises but when I tell you I started to feel terrible I don't know if it was the 6 a.m wake up I don't know what it was if it was because it was a Monday but y'all I had to legit run to the locker room I puked and had to just be laid out for like 15 seconds I was so embarrassed I grabbed my stuff and ran out of the gym y'all like literally I did not say bye to nobody I ran but that did not stop me from showing up for day two of my workout for day two, we started out with goblet squats. We did 10 goblet squats with a light kettlebell, and then I moved into sled pushes. Now, y'all, I don't know what it is about Miss Alexa, but she loves her a good sled push. I have learned to enjoy them because I feel myself getting stronger every single time. And after that, we moved to lateral lunges. For the lat lunges, you want to just do six on each leg, so 12 total. And we're going to do this warm-up for three sets. Oh, 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 oh. Now for the workout, we moved into eight kettlebell deadlifts. And Alexa was really emphasizing to me that I wanted to make sure to really reach for the kettlebells in a squat position, but still try to keep my head up. And that's really hard for me all for some reason. But yeah, we did eight kettlebell deadlifts, followed by five box jumps.
on the box jumps y'all it's really important that you use your hips to get like an upward motion and the best way I can describe it is like a hip thrust you really want to use your hips to throw yourself into the movement so we did that for three sets I then moved into reverse lunges. I did six on each leg for a total of 12. And then moved into hamstring curls. So y'all, if you don't know, you can take a resistance band and wrap it around something secure to make like a knot and that can allow you to do hamstring curls which are really going to hit the back of your thighs to get all that cellulite and stuff which we love so i did 20 of these and it truly felt like probably a hundred y'all the back of your legs are going to burn if they're anything like mine and what's really important here that alexa always mentions is to make sure that i'm keeping my hips into the ground so don't don't allow for your booty to be poking up we then moved into a hundred toe taps and y'all this was on a different level and i'm making sure to leave in the parts where y'all i had to take a break because i want for y'all to see the real and know that these are hard and it's okay if you have to take a long time but let me tell y'all something i did these on wednesday today is saturday and i'm still feeling it in my abs like if you're trying to get that ab and that core together these seem so simple but they hurt and they also really really target your inner thigh because you're having to keep you know your legs up big fan of these i'm gonna start adding these to my workouts even when i do cardio days by myself To finish out this workout, I did 12 ball throws. And so what this is called, this called like every minute or something like that. But basically, you do 12 ball throws at the top of each minute. The sooner you finish, the longer of a rest time you have. And you do this for 8 minutes. And so if you move super slow, you're only going to have like 20 seconds to rest or 10 seconds to rest. So it's really important for you to keep pace. Which can be hard because you have to focus on good breathing and you want to really force that ball down, y'all. You want to throw it, okay? Me, I picture somebody that's annoying me right now. And I throw that ball and it's like I'm letting out some aggression. So give these a try. This was a great workout on this day. I felt so empowered and I could tell that I was getting stronger. It was day three, I was feeling good, I was feeling positive, and we started off with kettlebell halos. So y'all, this is like an upper body workout, an ab workout, because it's focused on engaging your core. And you want to make sure that you keep your arms close to your side, you know, you don't want them to be flailing out too much. Then I moved into sled shoves. So this is different from a sled push, because you're basically trying to shove the sled as far away from you as you can, and then, you know, you walk up to it and do it again. After that, we did a 30-second plank. And if y'all don't know, I hate planks. Honestly, I hate any ab workout because in my mind, I'm fat. I have a lot of belly rolls. Doing ab workouts is pointless, but I do what I need to do to stick to the program. So we did 30 seconds of those, and I did this warm-up three times.
Next, we moved into an incline bench press. And for this, you want to do a medium to hard weight. Start with the lighter weight and then move up if you feel comfortable. So one thing that Alexa was really making sure that I realized is that I need to punch up. So I was not bringing my arms to be stacked above my shoulders when I was at the top of the movement. And that's really important to get that full range of motion when you're doing a shoulder press and to our bench press. So I did 12 of these three sets of those and I definitely was feeling it y'all. This was a little workout. Okay, honey, especially because I did 15s, I think. And that's a lot. Next, I moved to do 12 underbar pull-ups. So what this is basically doing is a pull-up that is assisted, whatever. It's getting you ready for if you were to actually do a pull-up, y'all. But I'm nowhere near there. And so I did 12 of these, and then I moved into 12 kettlebell high pulls. What you're focusing on with the high pull is making sure that you're just really bringing that kettlebell up. You have control over the movement both up and down. And the last two exercises that we did for this workout was 12 box push-ups. I personally hate push-ups, <laughs> but I am trying to learn how to have good form. So box push-ups just kind of helps you like have better control. It's a little bit more realistic for people that don't have that upper body strength. I did 12 of those, and then I moved to 20 tricep pull-downs. My gym does not have a cable machine, so we just used a resistance band to set it up for tricep pulls 20 of these y'all had me dying I was exhausted I was like oh my arms were so sore but I pushed through and I made it through and that was my last workout of the week y'all I'm so proud I made it good morning y'all happy Saturday it's weigh-in day let's do it y'all let's do it sorry y'all know I like get out here first thing in the morning but yeah, we're about to weigh ourselves, y'all. I don't know what the week's looking like. I will be happy to be honest, y'all, if I maintain. Because this week has been, the diet has been a struggle, but whatever. We're going to see. So I don't think, do I think I lost weight? No, but I just don't want to gain weight. Right now, my focus, focus and what I've been telling myself is like, I can't lose any ground. Does that make sense? If I don't lose weight, that sucks. But the main thing is I cannot lose any ground. I cannot go backwards. So we're going to see right now. Did I go backwards or what's the T? So yeah, last week I was 222.4. Let's see what I am today. Oh y'all. <sighs> okay. Yeah, y'all. Today I'm 222.6. Definitely not ideal, but it's okay. I like honestly in the grand scheme of things, it's not terrible. We're going to push next week, though. We have, let me see. I did a countdown. We have 19 weeks and two days until my trip, which I want to be in 19 weeks. I want to be down at least 40 to 50 pounds. So I got to push it, y'all. I got to push it. But it's okay. We, we ride. If you enjoyed this week's video, Please subscribe to the channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Love your besties. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your sally when I'm feeling lonely.